Hi my friends, it's Bella. Welcome to Beauty on a Budget and I'm filming this in the evenings. I never fill in, film in the evenings. I always film in the mornings after I get up, I get washed, I get my breakfast and I film. Um, but for convenience and for my time in this time I'm going to film in the evening. I don't know if it will turn out any different because there's no natural light coming in. But we'll just have to see. So. Bella's finds. Let's see what I found this month. Now, Avon wasn't coming for a while because he was kind of off and on with this COVID thing, whether he can come, whether he can't. But um, I really missed their body lotions. But anyway, last week um, he left a book and um, I've done this a couple of times, I think, during lockdown because he can't always do it. But he left the book. I put my order in because I really wanted the... Um, body lotion and I transferred the money into his account and then he just leaves the things on my doorstep so um so I can get the Avon so I'm pleased with that because I really really like it this time I've got the radiant rose water and sheer butter these are so lovely guys if you are looking for a bargain body lotion because some of them are just rubbish they just I have tried so many bodies, because I love body lotion when I get out of the bath, and I've tried so many absolutely rubbish ones, but these are lovely. I got that one, and I also got the um, traditional cocoa butter one. That's gorgeous, guys. It's really, really lovely. If you get Avon, just try one of those, because I know you'll just love it. It's lovely. Okay, so anybody see my video on Friday? Did you see the nails? Do you know how long they lasted? About six hours. <laughs> now they didn't not last because they popped off or anything like that. They were really secure on. They just drove me completely crazy. They were just too long. I don't know how people do their work and how work with great long nails. I don't know. My nails are normally quite long, but it's a different feeling when it's your own nail. It's just a different feeling. Um, but because I've, I know I've mentioned it, because I'm washing my hands, I think, so many times. I'm washing it with quite strong antibacterial things. Um, my hands have got quite dry, and my nails were just all breaking, so they're quite short. So, I wasn't comfortable in them. I like nail wraps. Um, you know the sheets that you put on top as a nail varnish? I like those. They're nice. But for the fake nails, I think they've, they've gone down the same road as fake eyelashes. It's just something that's just... I don't think I'm going to do very well. But I won't give up. I will try. But what I thought is a better thing for me, as I can grow my nails, is... To look after my nails. So I'm making sure that I use um, a hand and nail cream every night. Making sure I use nail oil every day. And I bought these two items. Now I got these. I will tell you who they're for. Um, who they're by. And where I got them. I'll put it over the top. But they're called Nail HQ. And one is the base coat. And one is the top coat. And they're treatments within the nail polish. So apparently, because I looked, you know, looked up what to get. And these come out quite on top. So it's a, the base coat has got like hyaluronic acid. There's all different things in it. It's got all different good things in it. And then you put your own polish on, which I'll just put a light coat on. And then you put the the uh, I think this is like an acrylic type top coat so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and look after my nails and I'm going to attempt to grow my nails back you know because they were always okay weren't they a lot of you used to comment on my nails but once they're not there they're gone <laughs> anyway we're going to give that a try so I'll keep you updated how that goes next thing now my hair at the ends gets quite dry. I need a um, leave-in conditioner. Some of them leave your hair like a gloop. 
um, and some of them they're dry and you don't even know any difference. I like the Avon ones, the natural ones. I know I've spoke of these. I haven't had these for about a year. But when I got the book, I saw them and I thought, now I used to use them and they are really, really good. So this is always after washing and rinsing. Ordinary conditioner, rinse your hair, just towel dry. Just run a large piece side of that through your hair. I just do it from here down and finger it through your hair and it's so nice especially if you're just because I leave my hair to air dry mostly um, and I don't always want to use tools on it you know sometimes I just like to sort of leave it just for its health really um, and it makes a difference because it stops that frizziness you know what you can get when you just wash your hair and you don't dry um you don't blow dry it or you don't tong it or anything. You can get like a, a frizziness, can't you? And so this stops that. Well, it helps it. It helps it. And then that, so that you use after you've washed your hair. If you get a little bit of frizziness in the morning, days in between you you washing your hair, this is the spraying version of it. And that says strat, it's called, I can never say this word, I remember when I had it in video before, strand strength. Try saying that, strand strength. So this one you use after you shampoo, this one you use in between, and you just, let me just see you guys, let me get it out ready to pump it. There we go, just like this, just put some through my hair like this. It smells gorgeous and it just kind of if there's any dullness or anything in the bottom of the hair it just it just it's not like a gloss like a false gloss it just gives your hair just a little bit of, of life where that you know might be a little talking about hair um i bought two new hair brushes do you remember a couple of weeks ago if you saw my video guys the big paddle ones i was so pleased with them and they've made such a difference um, I thought I needed a new one for my handbag, so Avon had this one, and I liked it because it's like I don't know if you can see that, but it's all flowers on. Can you see that? Isn't that pretty. I really liked that, and I thought that's ideal for my bag. Just ideal for my bag. Nice size. So I bought that. Uh, I bought two new lip liners from Catrice, I believe. Yes. Are they? No. No, 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 no. Yes, it is. It's their Essence. Two new lip liners from Essence. Because I like their lip liners. I like Catrice's as well. Um, these are actual pencil ones. They don't... It's not a twisty appy, but I'm okay with pencil ones, and sometimes I think they can give you a, a sharper line. Um, I've got a pinky one and a neutral one. They're not really coming out on there. But pink, that's more pink than it looks, and that's more neutral than it looks. But I got those, because I am really short of, pen, of lip liners. See, it's a nice crisp line. So definitely another thing I would highly recommend, guys, as the brown one next to it, is Essence Lip Liners and Catrice's. They're really nice. Okay, sticking with Essence. Now, I've just used up, um, it's not what I've got on today, but I've just used up my It Cosmetics um, Superhero. Which is a lovely, lovely mascara. I bought a double pack because when you buy the, it's, um, you can get them on offer from QVC. Some, they're always on offer, but sometimes they're on offer. So I get the double pack. So that's a new one. But I put that in a, a finds before, guys. I've had that a while now. It's not, not opened. So that one I've still got to use. Um, and I like it. I do. It's a lovely mascara. But, you know, for the difference in the price, I honestly prefer this. I do. I just prefer that Princess Mascara. I think 
I don't think anything beats this. I don't think anything has given me better letters than this. Um, high end, other than other than Pat McGrath, which is beautiful mascara, the fetish mascara is beautiful, but high end, low end, or any end, that is such a perfect mascara, and it gives you those big lashes I like. Also, primers. Now, let me see if I've got what I'm using at the moment. I'll just see if I can show you here, guys, which I probably can't. I am using at the moment Max Factor Set. So I'm using, I can't find the thing. This is the, the primer I'm using at the moment. So this is not in my finds, this is just the one I'm using at the moment. I don't even know I've got it on, guys. I don't even know, it makes no difference. If I put two coats of mascara, or that in two coats of mascara, you can't see the difference. You don't even know it's this. So, it, it, to me, it was a pointless waste of money. This is not. This is a terrific eyelash primer. And the two together are without doubt any, any high and low end or anything. This is the lashes that I like. Boom, boom, boom lashes. Big lashes. And I love them. I love them. And so I've, I've not opened them yet, um, but I will be probably open them tomorrow. Um, I love this. Don't get me wrong. It's a beautiful mascara. It is a beautiful mascara, but I might put that in a treat box for my girls. Okay, so the last thing I got from Avon was the Nutrifex Hydra Boost and Sheet Mask. I really like sheet masks now, guys. Um, I haven't tried this one before. Um... I like all sorts of masks. I do like masking. I enjoy that time. But clay masks I definitely can't use now. And even peel-off masks now. Over the last couple of years, I found her a bit harsh for me. I really need... The best ones for me are, are the, you know, hydrating cheap masks by far. So I'm going to try that one. I'm looking forward to that, guys. Uh, next thing, nothing else from Avon. The next thing now, you know I love Elizabeth Arden perfumes. I absolutely love them. Um, I've worn them for years and years. Um, I've got the bluegrass and I've got the um, sunflowers and they're things that I repeatedly buy. But she's got this one. I've had the green tea before. My girls have bought me that. But this one is a green tea and bamboo. I've not tried this one, but I've smelt this and it's lovely. I love Elizabeth Arden perfumes. It's, I just have for years and years and years. So that's this one. It's a pretty bottle. I think they're, they're perfumes that you can wear every day. They don't... They linger, but they're not too overpowering. I love that smell. It's a beautiful, fresh, everyday smell that's not in your face, but it's just lovely. It's just nice. You can smell it. You can smell it on someone, but it's not too strong, you know. And I love those for every day. And I've got all uh, this. I'll still keep to these and the bluegrass. And the um, Irresistible, which I've got in my bedroom, I'm using all the time. And the Sunflowers, which is such a classic and I've used for years. Okay, guys, nearly there. You've heard me talk of W7 many times. You've seen me do reviews on it. And um, I've got some Get Ready With Me with just numbers uh, W7. And I like it. For a, for a bargain brand, I, th I think it's okay, W7. Um, and I saw this, this was on offer, obviously online because they're not going out, but it's called Pucker Up and it's a lip kit. So you've got a lipstick, a lip liner and a lip gloss. So I thought I'm going to give them a try, see what they're like. If they're, you know, it lasts a while and it looks okay, I might invest in a few more, but... I just wanted to try one because I've never tried this one thing before. But um, sort of colour I like. 
So I'll give that a test and see what it's like. Okay, so the last thing, guys, is sunscreen. I've used Neutrogena for years. Years and years, their sunscreen. Um, the full coverage that covers all factors, back to 50, I've used it for years under my makeup summer winter all times it's always part of my um skincare it's just part of my skincare morning skincare and i as i said i've used the neutrogena for years but i can't get hold of it now anyway now whether this is to do with the pandemic and things are not being shipped or to do with you know Europe now and not being shipped. I don't know. I, I have no idea, but it's not available anywhere. So um, I know there's quite a few I've tried that I'm not so keen on that irritate my face. You'll know I've got a really sensitive skin. Um, but I heard a couple of ladies online talking about Bondi Sands. Have you ever heard anybody talk about Bondi Sands? Um, and I thought, let me give it a try. I'll give it a try because it seems to have a, um, a good reviews. There's good reviews about Bondi Sands online. Um, and the ladies that I've seen review it seem to be very keen on it. So it's like this. It's in a very similar packet. This is just for the face. It's SPF 50. Um... It's in a very similar tube to what the Neutrogena is, but the Neutrogena is down there in my empties, getting ready for my next empties. Um, and I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand. No, I won't. Because it's sealed. <laughs> Let me take this off, guys. Right. Now I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand. Okay. It feels very much like the Neutrogena. And you see it goes, there's no no white looking reflection. You can see that guys. And it just goes through it's lovely. It feels like skincare as well, you know. It's really lovely. Really no smell seems like the neutrogena really feels nice so that's that one guys really so far so good i'm really pleased with how it feels i'll let you know how it goes but i hope if neutrogena are not being made anymore that um or not being chipped here anymore that i'll get used to this one i hope it's a winner for me because obviously i want to replace it with something that i like so i'm hoping bondi sands and if you heard of bondi sands they seem i think it's an australian thing it sounds australian doesn't it um so yeah let's hope that's the winner so that's it guys that's all my finds for this month um let me know how the coloring is because as i said i'm filming of a night and i never film of a night i always film during the day um so you have a good week i will see you again on friday take great care of yourselves don't take any risks still even now don't take any risks i'll see you soon love you all bye